So AIIB's Climate Action Plan is really a very rounded document. I think it's really extraordinary because it marries the need for mitigation, urgent mitigation action, with the urgent need for adaptation in the Asia region and also the, the fact that, that that adaptation really relies upon nature and the way in which we value nature. Bringing the three together is so important. So what's urgent? Well, we're here at COP28 at the moment. I hope that we're gonna leave here with governments agreeing that their next round of action plans, their NDCs, will have to cover the entire economy and they will have to cover all gases. So, for the high emitting countries in Asia, the priority has to be to decarbonise as quickly as possible. That means getting rid of methane. It means really transforming the energy sector. It means transforming the, the transport sector. The good news is that that is affordable and a good economic investment, but we just have to use some financial engineering to make that possible. And then for countries where the emissions footprint is not so high, it's an urgent job to step up their ability to be resilient and adapt to the climate impacts that are already happening. And that's in the agriculture sector. It's also in buildings. It's how people live under extreme heat. It's also things like air conditioning and other access to cooling. So there's many, many things that will happen. And it's big projects and small projects. It's um, the small farmer who needs access, to uh, irrigation that's solar powered, all the way through to a new hospital complex that has to be resilient to extreme heat. All of this is for AIIB to do. Thank you.